In this video I'm going to be showing you how to build the Ragnaroks on the map to read the classified. You will need to find three parts to the Ragnaroks scattered across the map. They're in the following areas. The first part can spawn in three areas inside animal testing. The part can spawn at the back of the room here on this table. It can spawn in the sink here just underneath the clock. And the final area it can spawn at the back over here by these filing cabinets just outside the room to teleport to ZA. Second part can spawn over by the automobile garage. This is the area where Mule Kick is located. The first spawn area can be over here at the bottom of the staircase just behind this little wall here. The second spawn area can be over here just over to the left hand side of this barrier on this rubble. And then the final area if you come up to where Double Tap is and while you're facing Double Tap turn around and if you look at this wall here by these sandbags this is where the park can spawn. For the final part you will need to complete part of the easter egg in order to acquire this. You'll need to have linked all the teleporter pads to the mainframe, pack a punch the weapon, shot the panel outside the map to start the flytrap easter egg, shot all the samantha toys, over at the mainframe up in the building where the fiery window is, inside animal testing, inside a cage near the trench gun wall by, and then over in the automobile garage where mule kick is inside the furnace. Once you shot all the toys, you will then need to head over to Teleporter ZB and come over to these two boilers and you'll see these four red valves. You need to turn these red valves until eventually the tube has a load of water bubbling coming out of it. Do this for all four red valves and you will notice that the teleporter will now have a blinking red light on the panel next to it. Interact with the panel and then the teleporter will have a purple glow to it. If you're playing in solo, you can just teleport inside this teleporter on your own. If you're in a game of co-op with more players all players will need to be present on this teleporter in order to teleport to the area you need to go to once you teleport you'll be put into this secret room and then eventually you'll be teleported out of that room and back to the mainframe and as soon as you teleport back to the mainframe if you look straight ahead in front of you you will notice that there will be now a little blue power up that will spawn and that is the final ragnarok part simply walk into it in order to pick it up now that you have all the ragnarok parts you can build the Ragnaroks in two areas. Over by Teleporter ZC inside the Quick Revive room you will find the buildable table just there and then the other buildable table you can find up by Teleporter ZB and you can find it just over here. Once you find the table you want to build them at simply use your interactive button to build the Ragnaroks. This will place them on the table. If you're playing in a game of co-op all players can pick these up once somebody builds them on the table. Simply interact with them on the table in order to pick them up. In the game when you activate the Ragnaroks you can use a slam attack in order to just slam into the ground and fling zombies miles away or you can slam the Ragnaroks into the ground this will cause a massive electrical storm effect that will make all the zombies fling up into the air and be electrocuted to death eventually the Ragnaroks will run out of time once they do if you've slammed them into the ground make sure you go and pick them up again you will notice on your HUD there will be a little counter as you kill zombies this counter will fill up you need to fill this all the way back up again in order to use the Ragnaroks once more. Otherwise that's all there is to the Ragnaroks. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you need a guide for any of the other things in Therese Declassified then there will be a link to the playlist down in the description. Otherwise I will see you all in the next video. Found the Smap for Doll in the first place. You will now notice that the Smap for Doll will be standing up and spinning around in a circle. Simply interact with the Smap for Doll again. This will cause a bone arm to come up in the air and pull the Smap for Doll underground. You will then get a max ammo power up spawn and you will hear the song remember forever i'm gonna let you guys listen to the song now if you need 